Catfish Casey's got some special for you today, folks. I'm going to be demonstrating how to cast one of them bait caster rods. And you don't want to miss it when I demonstrate how to get off of high ledges the right way. And don't forget the monster catfish that's going to probably be in this video as well. So stay tuned. All right, so Nick had to leave. So we only got to fish Lawrence for about an hour. I think the fish were going to be biting there pretty soon, but we had to head back. And so, um, man, I still had the itch to fish. So I'm at the lake behind my house. Well, it's about three minutes. I'm at Lake Olathe. And uh, this is what I have for bait. But I just want to fish for like an hour, see if anything bites. You guys know how it goes. But um, <laughs> I literally have... Let's see here. These were some frozen, these were some frozen bratwurst, chicken sausage. And then I've got two small live baits in there, which, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna put the two live out. I'm gonna walk all the way down, not all the way down the dam, but it gets pretty deep here, almost, almost to 50 feet actually. But the lake's supposed to close at like 10 since they like fixed fixed it up and all that different stuff but i mean i can park here and walk down well you can't see it right now but i can walk all the way down there and nobody wants to walk nobody's gonna want to walk down there to tell me i can't fish you know on the dam so um and actually there's no signs posted so let's get to fishing i'm gonna get down there and get two lives on um, two poles and then I've got my third pole license so I'm gonna try a, a piece of the chicken sausage and see what happens I have a feeling the chicken sausage is gonna get for the first bite all right guys so I have fished this lake like almost my entire life since it's only a few minutes from my house but I've never fished this spot right here now we're at the very end of the dam uh, the spillways right next to me and if this is kind of like the uh, you'll just have to take a look at it kind of interesting not really a good place for the poles to sit um obviously obviously a lot of people haven't fished this spot or catfished this spot because then there there have been a uh, custom made holes up here <laughs> already so um i think i'm gonna leave the, the drag fairly loose so when i see them start to bend a little bit and if they pull a little drag i'll tighten it up that way the pulls pulls not you know, wrenched over that that metal if i get a huge bite so i'm gonna get the li two live baits on and then a piece of uh, chicken sausage and uh, we'll see which one gets bit first all right first live bait Yeah, I've been trying kind of some weird stuff lately. Without a boat, it's kind of making me explore a little bit more. Try a little bit more. Let's see here. Again, this is kind of a big hook for this little guy, but that's what's going out. Let's see where I want to send them. Launch them out there, I think. All right. I'm about a good 15 feet up. So, you know, if I catch a pretty good sized fish here, I'm gonna have to see if I can get them up here. Um, if I can't, I'm gonna, there's, there's a way that I can probably get him from the side, which actually would do that. So, let me get this guy going. Oh. 
So as I'm rewatching this, I realized that it was an odd way to cast since I had to go over that top rail. And it almost also looks like uh, I think something might have got stuck because then it all the weight went forward, and uh, I I don't know how it just popped right out of my hands, but um, yeah. And then I'm I'm glad I had a pole that was sitting there ready with a weight and a hook on it. Um, and thank God for the foam on the handles. Or I mean I, I believe that's the reason why I was floating because I was at a dam. Um, it was a 15 foot drip drop into the water at least and then that dam goes anywhere from 40 to 45 feet close to 50 at sometimes all right guys so that really surprised me obviously because I hesitated for a second but instantly grabbed the pole right next to me that had a weight on it and a big hook so that I can try and try to, to get my pole back so that's what I'm doing here is is reeling up and then lowering the weight and hook back down to try and see if I could snag my rod. Oh my goodness. Guys, check this out. Oh. Guys. All right, guys, so already, let me grab this, but already it's been kind of crazy. So I lost this pole right here, which I tried to cast out, and I eventually, I snagged it. I think, thank God for the, 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 the foam up there. When I tried to get off of here, I just completely busted it and just ate it. But I'm so glad I got this back. And I still have, I still have my bait on here. Still got the good bait. Let me get this one in the bucket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these things free. My goodness. Cool. Guys, I was freaking out. I've never done anything like that before. This is a, uh, Hopefully that's the end of that stuff. I Man, I thought I broke my arm when I fell off the back of that. I don't know why I thought that was a step, but uh, yeah, uh, a little bit of excitement. I got a pretty good gash. I can't probably show you uh, on YouTube because of uh, all the rules, but it's it's bleeding pretty nice and good. So. I'm gonna get these uh, poles separated and get this uh, one back out there. I'm gonna go ahead and cast it the right way. Oh, man, you guys don't understand that reel. I mean, my stuff's not the most expensive, but that rod, $100 plus 25 shipping. Uh, that reel right now is about 180. Wait, which pole? Yeah, 180 plus tax. So, and I don't have that money right now, so. Oh, here we go. I'm going to get it loose and cast it back out there. Man. I like the fact that they started doing these uh, rubber handles. The EVA foam, whatever's going on. But, man, like I said, I'm at the dam next to the spillway. And I could see it floating in the water. I mean, it wasn't floating on top of the water, but I could... I showed, I showed my flashlight down there. I was able to actually, uh, like, I could see the red. And so I just kept on uh, going over it. I do stupid things sometimes, but you know what? Everybody does. And you know that I wouldn't have shared this video if I would have lost that pole. Oh, I probably would have kept fishing though, but I would have been bummed. I mean, it's different if you lose a pole to getting broken off by a monster, but if you lose a pole, a, a rod and a reel because you forgot how to cast for a second. Ugh. I might as well start bass fishing at that point. You know, maybe I'm just getting old. 
all the cast netting and getting bait. I thought I hurt myself when I fell off that. I don't know why I just decided, I was so excited, I just stepped backwards and I uh, didn't realize there was a three and a half, three and a half foot drop. I just walked right, right off of So, but you know, skateboarding, it teaches you how to fall. Oh my goodness. Oh, so there is some stuff from the river wrapped around the top. That doesn't really explain why I, I uh, lost it in the river. I think it's because of this high platform. It just, I, it was top heavy and I just lost it. So, all right, let's get you back out there. It looks like the hole where I, it looks like it, like where I uh, put the hook, it looks fine. So, all right, let's get the fish in. I shouldn't even be out. What is going on tonight? I lose a rod, I get it. I've got a, one victory there, then I bust myself getting down. I think this might be God telling me I need a, a shower, but I just took them today. Yesterday, something like that. Getting a bite on. The line just went slack. Still raining a little bit. Whatever it is, if it still has it in its mouth, it's coming this direction. Here we go. Wanted to get, there we go. Okay. I'm not quite sure if he has it yet. All right. I think, I think I'm still hooked up. Yeah, got a little fish on here. I don't think it's gonna give me any problems lifting them up. Oh. I think I just got snagged. interested to see what this is like probably a channel let's see doesn't weigh much yep okay that's how you should get down but uh cute little channel so uh, well, it's kind of what I thought would uh, be biting on this chicken sausage, but you know, I haven't caught a, a channel in a while, so, all oh, right, I'm going to, I'm going to show the camera just for the thumbnail. Oh, well, so many people are going to watch this. <laughs> Uh, no, guys. Catching any fish, especially catfish, is fun. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get them on back in the water. Oh, all right, guys. That is it for my first the first place where I really got into catfishing. This is where it all started. Didn't have a didn't have a great night. Caught one fish, lost a pole, found a pole. Fell off <laughs> backwards, sliced my hand up pretty good. I think I landed on glass, but guys, I've got to get out of here. It feels like I'm almost like learning how to fish again. It just, especially with all the, the rain and everything. Oh, and get snagged. But um, I promise you some more videos that have bigger fish in them soon. So I did have a lot of people ask me where I was. So if you can see where my camera's at, I'm at the top of the dam all the way down. 
in this little area here. So I am out of here.